In this video, we will see how an open source cloud storage system on cloud can be integrated to the Moodle. On cloud is freely available cloud storage system just like Dropbox. You can install it on your web server and have a cloud storage system in your company or university. On cloud has client synchronization software or you can just upload your files directly to the server dragging and dropping into the browser. You can use OnCloud to create course files, user profile files, or site-wide files. To enable this integration, you, first of all, you must enable Apache Web Dev module mod just like here, the website of the Apache mod on both the OnCloud server and the Moodle server. After installation of both systems, we should enable Web Dev Repository plugin through the Moodle Site Administration web interface. Let me show you. We go to the Moodle Site Administration block, Site Administration, Plugins, Repositories, and we click to the Manage Repositories. At the bottom of the page, we see Web Dev Repository. As default, it is disabled. We should enable and make it visible. Here, it asks if we want to allow users to add a repository instance into the courses or into the user context. We click to the board checkboxes and allow to the users to add files into the course or into the private files of the user and we click to the save to save the settings now we see here enable and visible now let's add an instance to our user profile we go to the user profile by clicking our username and we go to the repositories and click to the create web dev repository instance link give any name we could understand in the cloud web dev type is the http protocol type if we use a certificate it, we should click to the https then we go to our on cloud instance to see the setting of web DAO. We go to the cloud system on cloud instance. We enter our username and password and log into the system. Then we click to the username arrow and go to the personal. And we see here the web DAO link. If we want to use the web tab in our clients we should use this link as you see here the path of the full path of web tab uh, we will just use part of it in the settings of our user profile instance we write here just the host name of the cloud system and for the path we here copy the remaining part remote.php slash web DAO and paste it here and we choose authentication type web DAO basic authentication the port is 443 because it's HTTPS and we enter the username and password of our own cloud system Now we click to the save save settings. Now we add our instant, but how can we use it in courses or any blogs? Uh, let let us go to the course we instruct. We go to a course we we are teacher. We add a file resource. 
click to the file and resource then we choose add and we see here the bookmark of our own cloud instance ETA cloud we give the name ETA cloud and we see the we see the all files in our cloud system if we click to the file and select this file it will it will enter to the course and we see the file in the file resource of the Moodle and the integration is over we could also add we now leave the page we could also add the instant to the course context in the course administration block we go to the repositories create a web repository instance and the same settings for for the course context I am not going to enter the details we can use this course context if there are more than one teacher and using the same resources for the course